Roblox is banning everyone for this right now. People are angry at this Roblox game and more in the news today. So if you're new here, please subscribe. It takes like two seconds and it makes my day. So please subscribe and let's get into it. And first here, let's start with Roblox banning everyone right now. So for some reason, over these past like few days or so, Roblox has started banning so much people for old stuff. And we've seen this happen before with like old t-shirts and stuff. But for some reason, any old game, clothing, items and stuff like that, people started getting banned for it. And it's really weird what's going on right now. First see, reverse polarity here tweet out saying that, I don't know what changed, but Roblox appears to be now actually hostile towards creators. As I mentioned, I don't know where it started happening, where they started banning people just like crazy. They continue saying, this item is far older than a year, and has been bought hundreds of thousands of times. And as we can see here, once again, they got banned for an item that they uploaded years ago, and they got a full on seven day ban, which is actually insane. And it doesn't end here. Project Supreme here, probably YouTuber, tweet out saying, once again, you got a seven day ban, but this time, it was for directing yours off platform. And Project Supreme made a whole video on this if you want more information. But basically, in this video, he mentioned how a lot of these bans were actually from old like games and items and shirts that he had. And he got a lot of warnings for those recently. And once again, as we can see here, he got a seven day ban. And to make it all worse, obviously all these creators and stuff are, you know, appealing because the bans are pretty stupid. And every time they appeal, same thing. Roblox just says, no, our ban was fair and they don't get them unbanned, which is crazy. Because the first person I showed off was like a very popular UC creator. Project Supreme is actually in the star program and he can't even get unbanned. And right now, for some reason, creators and just people in general are getting banned for stuff they uploaded years ago. Like anything. And Rolls is starting to warn and ban people like crazy right now. As the person mentioned, they randomly just called super hostile to creators. Maybe they updated like their moderation and they just started banning people. I don't know what's going on, but it's super weird. Because as we can see also with that, they're all like seven day bans too. So like super long bans. It's a pretty big issue going on right now. People are getting banned for stuff they did literally years ago. Whether that be in a game or an item. And also with that being said, just like a side note, I don't think it's related to this issue, but for some reason, especially recently as well, I've seen people get banned for just the stupidest things. Like this obviously happens a lot with Roblox, but I've seen especially so much of it recently. Like this one here, for example, where this person was just talking to someone and they got banned for being discriminatory, which I can kind of see maybe for this one, for that second statement, but in general, kind of dumb. And I've also seen this one. That's not the first one I've seen. I've seen something similar where, as you can see here, this person got banned for scamming for just saying they're going to give Robux to someone and once again banned for a day, which you can kind of sense the theme here. For some reason, all the dumb chat bans, people are getting banned for one day and then people are getting banned for seven days for stuff they did like seven years ago. It's super weird what's going on right now. And for some reason, there's been like a random shift in these past few days where Roblox just went on an insane ban streak for anything, whether you did it years ago or just now. And it's really weird what's going on right now. As I mentioned, some popular creators are literally getting banned out of nowhere right now. But anyways, with that being said, our next story of a Roblox game getting a lot of hate right now. So recently, the game Souls RNG exploded in popularity recently. And RNG games in general are exploding in popularity right now in Roblox. And Souls RNG is definitely a product of that. And I think it's the most popular like RNG game out there right now. And it's getting a lot of hate. Firstly, this person here tweeted us saying that there's a top rated Rolls game called Souls RNG where basically a loot box simulator. You just sit there and roll. Feels like trading reels for gambling. It currently has 122,000 users. And this person's not even in the Roblox community. There's like a bystander observing this and just being like concerned and also confused about like how this game is doing so well. But I do, someone who is in the Rolls community also spoke out about this saying, I've never seen a game where I just straight up can't figure out why it's popular. This game and trend is so unbelievably boring and I don't understand why you'd really spend 24 hours in a day for an aura that is worth absolutely nothing. Please explain the point of this. And in general right now, with this game blowing up, I've seen like two sides of this. On one hand, a lot of people are just <laughs> confused at like why the game is popular and they're just like wondering like how did it blow up so quick but on the other hand as i mentioned the other tweet a lot of people are mad and also concerned for this game because it has gambling aspects and it seems to be like teaching people gambling and stuff like that and a lot of people are concerned for this trend and these games in general for all the gambling aspects so obviously a lot of kids play this which honestly i do understand and i do understand where they're coming from but to be fair the whole point of gambling is you put money in as like a risk and these games don't require you to put any robux or anything like that in so it's not actually like real gambling and people aren't losing anything it definitely has gambling principles but it isn't true gambling if you really think about it and in general right now a lot of people are angry at this world's game or just straight up confused because it's just kind of weird and yeah me personally too like i never heard about this game until yesterday where i just randomly checked like the most popular rolls games and this one is all the way up there with like over 100,000 people playing but anyways with that being said next story people being angry at roblox so recently roblox launched a new section in the home screen called today's picks and this section was actually very exciting because when rolls announced it they said that creators can actually fill in a survey to get their games featured and stuff like that and a lot of people were very excited for this because they thought that rolls was going to start showing off a lot of smaller developers and stuff like that but as we can see here for the most part people are not getting recommended small creators at all this person tweeted out saying that i'm glad 
to see role supporting small games like Creature Sonoria, Dress to Impress, and Blade Ball through today's picks. They really needed more players after not being featured in the hunt two weeks ago, so yeah, they're just poking fun at Roblox, and in general, a lot of people are angry at this Roblox feature, and just kinda angry at Roblox for how they recommend these games. A lot of people are very excited because this finally seemed like a good opportunity for smaller developers to get their games showed off, but Rose is once again just recommending the same old games that already are very popular and don't really need another boost. So it is kind of disappointing, but this is in the early stages, so hopefully it doesn't prove from here. And potentially it will be, because maybe Robles didn't start looking at the survey yet. We never know, and I guess we have to wait and see. And if they do start showing off smaller developers, then the section would actually be really good. But if it continues like this, the sections will end up being useless in my opinion. But anyways, with that being said, our next story of an interesting new Rolls collab potentially. So Mark on here tweeted us saying that it looks like Rolls are currently working on a Despicable Me 4 event, which is pretty interesting and pretty random, but a lot of you are actually very excited for this and think it's actually a very cool Rolls collab. Which I mean in general, this does seem kind of cool. I think from what I've seen this movie or whatever this is, is releasing in the summer. So I assume that Robots event or whatever this is will come around that time and they're preparing early. But it actually seems pretty cool and for once the community is actually excited about a sponsorship because it seems like they're actually putting more effort into this one as per usual. And there's a bunch more leaks about this too, which is pretty crazy. And anyways, that being says in our last story of some more pet simulator drama, they can't catch a break right now. So pet simulator news here to us saying that big games have filed a trademark application for Huge and Titanic for Class 28 toys. So yeah, I guess they're trying to trademark the words Huge and Titanic for toys, so only they can call their toys Huge and Titanic, which is kind of crazy and interesting. I don't know how that works because, I mean, Titanic is a huge thing, you know? But also with that being said, it seems like that they're also trying to do it for the virtual world, so it seems like they're trying to make it so no one else on Roblox can call it like that, which is kind of interesting from what I've seen. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but this seems kind of crazy. And once again, as per usual, everyone's clowning on big games and pet simulator here just because this seems so unnecessary and also kind of stupid. Because like this person here, for example, saying, don't know if you know this, but Titanic is an actual ship, which I mean, yeah, like, I don't know how they expect that to get through. I doubt it will. It might, you never know, but this just seems super random and weird. Like, do many people even use that name that they needed, like a copyright? I feel like no one else really uses that name besides them. Obviously, some games probably steal it, but is it that bad to a point where you're trying to copyright it? But with that being said, the drama doesn't end here. Recently, they removed this person, Sizzle Jelly Queen, from the Big Game Partner Program. And the reason this is so bad is because this person was actually one of the main people who spoke out about the incident that's happened recently. I covered all the drama. Everyone's covered all the drama at this point. If you want more information, watch my last video. And these people were rightfully mad at Big Games for what they did, because they spent a bunch of money themselves, right? And they weren't even being, like, straight up mean to them and bullying the developers. They were just being angry and sharing their opinion on all the drama but since he spoke out about it big games removed them from their partner program and if you guys remember they've also started banning other rdc members who are not in the program just banning them from the game which is so awful anyone who spoke out about the situation and any partner who spoke out about the situation just got banned and removed which is super awful from them because these people weren't even being directly mean to them they're just rightfully angry super messed up from patch simulator there and also with that being said weirdly enough i think this person said their dad was banned as well I don't know why or like what correlation. I don't know if their dad's a YouTuber, but that just seems kind of funny and random. And also with that being said, to end off this video, more people are burning pet simulator plushies. Like ever since that first person burned their plushie, more people started doing it as well. Which honestly is kind of dumb. It is funny to see and stuff like that, but it's literally a negative for everyone involved. It's a negative for you because you don't have a plushie anymore. And also you already gave big games the money. And also it's an in general negative because a lot of people are getting angry saying like, you could have donated it to people who actually appreciated it, which I can see why people think that. Because I mean, that is a pretty fair point, you know, just going to waste for like a meme. <laughs> and you already gave pet simulator money so what was the point in general though pet simulator is literally being canceled in the community right now and everyone's hating on them and it's just getting worse every day but with that being said if you enjoyed check out this video to find out why rolls released a pretty bad update and i'll see you in the next one